Hi, I'm Mike Ryan. One central theme in our blog videos has been the difficulty of turquoise identification. And this is because you can have the same look from different mines and different looks from the same mine. Grade is a major determinant in identification. Generally speaking, the higher the grade, the easier it is to identify a particular turquoise. Provenance is the key to turquoise identification. And really, provenance gets down to some real basics. One, did you buy the turquoise from the miner who took it out of the ground? Did you buy the turquoise from someone who bought it from the miner who took it out of the ground? Or did you buy it from a reputable dealer who bought from either of the previous two? After that, it becomes pretty much a guessing game. Although, as again, I said in, in higher grades, oftentimes we can make a pretty, pretty accurate attribution and speculation as to what that turquoise is. The most asked question I get is, what is this turquoise? And I guess People think because I know turquoise history that I know turquoise. But it really takes decades, decades of seeing lots and lots of turquoise before you really have these skill sets to really identify turquoise, at least those that I value their judgment. And yet, those that are the most skilled at doing turquoise identification are usually the ones who are the least willing to speculate. So today we're going to have a exercise in turquoise identification in Native American jewelry. Now, I wanna make one thing real clear. We are not going to identify this turquoise. At best, we will demonstrate a process that will hopefully enable us to get the dots closer together where we can then make some reasonable speculation as what turquoise is most probable, okay? So it's the process we want to demonstrate, not the goal of trying to say, okay, this is what this turquoise is. So recently I was visiting with Jeff Ogg, who for 25 years was the buyer of Native American Arts and Crafts for the Paul Harvey Company. And he lived on the South Rim of the Grand Canyon for 25 years. For the past 25 years, he has run Ogg's Hogan in Prescott, Arizona. So I was visiting with Jeff and looking at his amazing store, which he has just about everything from A to Z in Native American Arts and Crafts. And he showed me this ring and he said, what turquoise do you think this is? Well, again, I started out saying, I can say what I think it isn't, but trying to get what it is was difficult. But he got me thinking and I thought, you know, this would be a good exercise to try to narrow it down and demonstrate a process. And maybe this is a process you can use in the future. So, Let's take a look at the ring itself. Now, first of all, the photo is bad. It's hard to photograph turquoise. And uh, this is a great example of it because when you look at the ring, it has a much warmer look. It's not quite so cold and hard as it is in these photos. But this will give you an idea, especially of the matrix and the turquoise formation. We also see the hallmark on the back. Now, this is where you start, at least where I start with turquoise identification and jewelry. You want to ID the maker of the jewelry and the date when it was made. Because once you do that, you might be able to exclude a lot of turquoise that just wasn't available at that time. This is especially true of older jewelry. So, if we look at the hallmark here, it's, it's worn. I can't read it. Maybe some of you can have a better chance of recognizing what that hallmark is, but it's really worn down. So that would lead me to think that it's an older piece, maybe from the 70s or 80s. 
And we can then say, well, matching the turquoise to the date, we can exclude Chinese because so often when you see dark web turquoise, everyone says it's Chinese. Well, if the jewelry was made before 1990, it probably isn't high grade Chinese. So that was our first hurdle, if you will. Then the next thing we wanna do is to compare the stone. Now we're gonna compare the turquoise and we're gonna see how it compares to other turquoise from other mines. That would be your usual suspects. And for me, when I looked at this turquoise, it just kind of called out to me as being Lander County. So when we look at dark web from Lander County, Nevada, we're going to look at Red Mountain, Indian Mountain, Nevada Blue, and Lander Blue. So here we're going to see here on these photos, the unknown turquoise in the center in the ring. And then around it, you can see the other turquoise. Now with the Chinese, as I said, I don't think it fits date-wise. And when you look at the turquoise itself, it just, this turquoise doesn't have the, the real dark, dark, glassy, very, very hard matrix that you see in the highest grade of Chinese. Uh, turquoise formation is off a little bit too. So that's why I don't think it is Chinese. Red Mountain, time-wise it would fit because Red Mountain was available from the 70s, but the matrix doesn't fit for me. I just don't see that. In the same way, Indian Mountain, which was not available in the 70s, coming on market in the 80s a bit, really coming much more in the 90s, but I don't think the matrix fits as well. Lander Blue. Now, there's a bias people have towards saying their turquoise is Lander Blue because of the price premium for that particular turquoise. In this instance, the matrix works, but the color of the turquoise, turquoise pattern is, is okay, could be, could be Lander Blue, but I don't think the color is right. Lander Blue has a very distinctive, almost like an electric blue. Kind of like when Bisbee has an electric blue, this is very different Lander Blue, but they both have that similar energy, electricity to them. We often call that Zat. So I think that's missing. Now, finally, we get down to Nevada Blue. In this instance, the matrix works and the turquoise formation works for me. So that's why, in my opinion, the turquoise in this ring is most probably Nevada Blue. So perhaps some of you out there have a very different opinion of mine. It's not an exact science, but you've seen the process. And I think if you apply the process, it gives you a foundation for going about uh, identification of turquoise in Native American jewelry. <laughs>